Hello and welcome to Walker Tea Review. I'm Jason Walker here to explore teas with you. The teas that uh, uh, have been sent from all over the world to try to to uh, see if, you can, if this is the, the tea for you. I was uh, speaking with some people. There's always a new kind of tea. I was speaking with people just this weekend who had never had, never heard of oolong. There's 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 always something beyond what you what you think is the, the full range of teas. I'm scooping out enough here to cover the bottom inch to inch and a half area of my gaiwan. Gaiwan being the traditional Chinese uh, style of uh, preparation. You can go into Yixing pots, which are a nice addition, can enhance the qualities of some teas. I'm filling, using enough water, my water's been brought to an early boil, not a full rolling boil. There's lots of uh, discussion as to full rolling boil, heavy boils, uh, release, remove too much or a, a lot more oxygen from the air, from the water rather, so that uh, just below boiling has, allows you to keep more oxygen, allows the, the, the tea to uh, release its flavor as you can smell it as that oxygen is needed to help aerate the tea. So I'm going to let that steep. I use enough water so a little bit rests above the rim of my lid, creating kind of a, a seal there until I'm ready to pour it. So while that's steeping, let me introduce this tea. This is from Peony Tea Company. This is their Phoenix Dansong Almond Fragrance. You can get 40 grams for 55 Singapore dollars. This tea is from the original uh, origin source of Feng Huang Phoenix, uh, Feng Huang being the Chinese for Phoenix, Feng Huang Mountain in Chaozhou, uh, which is the city in Guangdong province. This is a spring 2013 harvest. Other information that is provided by Peony Tea about this particular tea, they consider this a middle roast, not too heavy, not too light roasting, and this is the uh, kind of the the traditional cultivar, the, the type of tea plant used, the Feng Huang Shui Xian cultivar that it was used to, to produce this. So, that information, talk about this tea, talk about the characteristics of the dry leaf, the wet leaf, and the liquor here. Give us a smell, start off with that. Light aromas. You let this breathe a little bit. Let me actually exhale, get some nice uh, warm, moist breath in there. That releases some characteristics as well. When you when you exhale, when you get a little warm breath on this, start it immediately just perks up with life. You get these uh, tart, peachy type of notes. Uh, candy peach may be the better. The, the better type of description there. There's something kind of uh, peach jam, peach preserves. There's something, you know, the, 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 the fruit has been heated to a certain degree. It's released some of its character. And, the, and so you get these sm uh, smells that you associate with kind of a tartness there, a, a nice fruity tartness. And that's what's coming off. So it's got a bit of a toasty uh, and that's that's beneath, and that would be a gentle toasting. So if you had a nice, fresh uh, peach preserve on lightly toasted bread, so some of the characteristics you might associate with this. Let me pull out a few of these leaves here. They're, they're pretty long and wiry, so it's going, be, it's going to be easier, I think, to do this by hand here. You want to have clean hands, hands that are free of fragrances or perfumes. You don't want those affecting the leaf here. Uh, picking these up, they are the traditional, the usual bister color, that dark brown, gray type of, bl almost black type of color there, deep darkness there. They are two inches, many of them in length, more than an inch, more than an inch and a half. Of course, you do have some pieces that broke, that are broken, but for the most part, these are individual leaves. They are intact or mostly intact, looks like. Um, wrapped along the middle length of the vein, middle vein of the leaf there. So they, these look to be the, the usual traditional style appearance. These leaves compared to other leaves, yeah, they do look a bit uh, thinner, a bit 
finer so that these were not the the bigger, thicker, heavier, older leaves. These look to be more, a bit younger, a bit uh, more delicate in their appearance so far. So I'm going to set that here. I'm going to get to the pour now. Angle my guy one lid over to the side. Let me get that out of the way so you can see the pour so that I can hold it with my middle finger or other fingers uh, on the side and my thumb here on the, the, the bowl part. The lid is held in place with my index finger and I get a nice smooth pour. The air, because I've angled my lid, the air comes through the top and allows the, the water to, the, the tea to flow through without dribbling out. So I'll set that liquor to the side, talk a little bit about this wet leaf. Give that a shake, let those leaves kind of fall back down to the bottom where they were sitting on the side from the tilting. Nice, again, nice, uh, tart, fruity, somewhat sweet. There is underneath um, honey roasted peanuts. So it's, I mean, there's a, there's a roasty, toasty, honeyed sweetness there. And on top of that, again, it's still that... Uh, tangy, tart, fruity kind of note. So far, I mean, almond fragrance is, is, was the, this, uh, used to describe this tea, and nothing's just quite yet jumping out. If there is a, a, a nutty uh, it may be not roasted peanut, you could put in that roasted almond instead. So there is, there is again, a, a nutty, a sweet, but it's underneath some of that other so far. And we'll see what it, if it comes out more in the, in the, in the liquor as I taste it here. So, but first, let me hold this liquor up to the light, and you see that's a nice, gentle, uh, kind of a honeyed, honey type of color there. So it's a bit brown, it's a bit uh, a tinge of yellow-orange there, but mostly a warm, rich uh, brown, maybe even like a uh, an ale or a, uh, a beer there. A rich, darker beer, somewhat darker beer. Looking down in the cup, again, still bright, clean, inviting here. So let me do a sip. good range of soft uh, but cons but, uh, but lasting aromas and taste. So when I, when I drew it in, I took the sip there, first entering there, I still get a bit of a subtle of a roasty element there. Again, roasty nut type of element, honey roasted nut kind of component. Still some of the peachy uh, tangy tartness. Now, so several people, some people look for and find that that's a, a, a highly desired component is a bit of a, a tart, tangy bite to it. So if that's the kind of tea you're looking for, this one still has it. And it, it so it's not a harsh astringency, but it's a nice puckery feel. It's still, it's clinging to the roof of my mouth right now. Okay, let me get another sip because as this cools, I expect some of the uh, flavor components, some components to kind of crescendo there. The tangin is still coming out. Aftertaste. So the tanginess is resting more towards the front right now. The aftertaste is a bit of a mellowed, uh, again, light honeyed type of note as if I'd taken a uh, honeyed wa honey water uh, and, and just drunk that. So it's a bit of a honey coating there. Let me give one more shot here. And I'm going to try to speed up the cooling here. This is not going to be your 
marzipan type of uh, almond extract type of honey uh, almond experience that you're going to have here. There is more of a zesty, puckery, tart, tangy element here, which is uh, pleasant, which can be, if that's what you're looking for, it can be highly desirable because the aftertaste tends to ex stick with a tart tanginess, not an not a, a off-putting astronancy, a nice tart tanginess with a bit of a zest kind of bite to it. So that's, that's a positive note here. Again, the aromas don't just pop uh, at the front and just become, uh, ex show too much excessive presence. These are smooth, steady, uh, lasting type of aroma components here. So that's, that's a positive note here. So it's got some of that kind of complexity to it in that sense. Looking at this, I would give this one a fairly high score. This is something that you need to sit, like a lot of good qualities, you need to be able to sit down and just kind of appreciate it for what it is instead of waiting for itself to uh, stick its, shove its foot in the door and just kind of force its way in. That's, that's not what this tea is going to be about. So this one, I'm going to give this one, uh, I'm going to give this one a 90. Some nice components there. Again, one that you're going to have to kind of sit and make yourself ready for. Some nice tart and tangy elements there, a nice bite. So come back to Walker Tea Review to find those components that are worth sitting down and introducing yourself to or, or allowing them to introduce themselves to you.